seven mountains, and they are all very happy that Snow White was living with them. They neither needed to tidy up, nor to cook, nor to clean when they came home after a hard day's work in the mines. Snow White had done everything for them. Every morning when the seven dwarves left the house, each one climbed up onto a stool and gave Snow White a farewell kiss and said to her, Do not open the door to anyone. Think of the magic mirror of your wicked stepmother. The stepmother, the queen, was a beautiful woman, but she couldn't bear to have anyone more beautiful than her. Because Snow White was so very beautiful, her stepmother had ordered a hunter to lead her into the forest and to kill her. But he felt sorry for the good and beautiful girl, and he left her alone in the forest by the seven mountains. He thought, the wild animals will do the terrible deed. But the magic mirror was still on the wall in the queen's bedroom. She asked it, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of us all? The mirror always told the truth. You, my queen, are the most beautiful here. But Snow White over the mountains by the seven dwarves is a thousand times more beautiful than thou. When she heard this, the queen was very, very angry, and she had no idea she could kill Snow White. I will disguise myself as an old gypsy and go to the woods to find her, she said. Three times she tried to kill Snow White, but twice the dwarves came home in time to save her. The first time, they could cut the laces that the queen had tied around Snow White so tightly that she could not breathe. At home again, the queen asked the mirror, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of us all? And again the mirror answered, Snow White is the most beautiful of us all. So the queen went a second time, this time with a poisoned comb. But the dwarfs came home and pulled the comb out of her hair before the poison could kill her.